Okay, the Zuma says I'm nine miles out in a turn in 4.3 miles. I just want to make absolute sure that it agrees I'm on the route it established for me. Full of drop offs? That'd be one. I guess this is why I never sleep. I get to the hotel so late at night. By the time I do what I gotta do, get ready for the next day, plan it all out, it's just about time to get up and do it over again the next day. You know, I'm doing an awful lot of climbing. Kind of curious here. Elevation. 9,728 feet and going up and thermometer says 38.3 I love bikes that have temperature gauges if you cycle through the computer here it has temperature how would you like to be out here at night navigating using maps stopping flashlights and all that garb been there done that years ago certainly don't want to be doing that Okay, more of the same. We're now at 10,600 feet and going up and up. We have a turn. It says west on road in 0.4 miles. Ah, uh, just when you think it's going perfect. Road changes quite a bit. Still not totally sold. I'm on the path it's given me. So I'll keep watching that before I go too far so I can turn around and not have to backpack backtrack far yeah I don't like what I'm seeing right now on the GPS so I'll take a closer look and I'll get back to you well that road didn't mesh up with everything that was going on so I've come back to the junction and as I get here coming with my light from this direction I can see that the main road does continue on this way. Okay, I'm going the other way. It's smooth roads. Problem is, it's a lot farther than the road I was on that was so rough. That's not the place to be at night on that rough road. Problem now is, at some point I'll make pavement, but to make town, I'm gonna run out of gas unless I get lucky. So, be an interesting time on full fuel conservation mode. Well, I got the dreaded fuel light. Got it at 195 miles, which is fantastic mileage. Doesn't give me enough for what's ahead. Kind of weird thought being at 11,000 feet, knowing when you get to highways that you don't have enough gas and you're not in the city. The route I'd originally gone was a lot shorter, but the way that road turned out, it wasn't the place to be, as I said a little bit earlier. So. We'll see what happens when I get to the pavement. You know that AAA motorcycle towing service I purchased just before leaving on this trip? It's seeming like it might end up being a good investment. If they have to bring me gas, but that would be assuming there's cell phone coverage. When in most places up here there is not, so... Look at all these aspen leaves, wow. says I have 0.2 miles to the highway. I see a stop sign. Here's a bridge. River. Time to head out on the highway. But I probably won't make it. So maybe I'll come back to you somewhere along the line. Parked for the night. Not one car the entire trip through there. Pretty cool. Well, maybe I'm going to get lucky. This is where the GPS just comes in so handy. I hit the gas thing and it comes up with every gas station anywhere near me. And it's anywhere from three miles 
to 22 miles, 25 miles tells you the brand, everything. I mean, there's a ton of gas stations within 23 miles or so, and some much closer. Now, I don't see any civilization, but it says the Rico Country Store is 3.3 miles straight ahead, the path I'm taking. Look at this, first thing I come to, civilization, looks like gas pumps in the exact store the GPS told me about. Don't know if they're open. Cool, I got gas. Then I'll figure out where I'm going tonight. So that's 213 miles. I've been on reserve just under 20 miles. Okay, we got our gas. Just barely under 4 gallons. Holds 4.2. And I'm on my way again. say about the F800 GS, I say it is an excellent motorcycle. BMW did their homework and they did a great job at producing a bike that is very, very versatile. Off-road, people like to think of the GS 1200 as, hey, we'll take it off-road. Doesn't begin to compare to the 800. The other adventure bikes out there that I've ridden don't begin to compare either. This bike, as you see in our video, pretty much rocks off-road. Just now, I did single track motorcycle trails. Some of my favorite trails around here. Um, totally whooped out, sandy, dry, end of summer. And I didn't film it because the bike wasn't intended for that use. I just wanted to see how it did. I was thinking about these trails and it's like, I gotta go right through there and see how it does. I mean, some of my old test riders for a dirt magazine couldn't make it up one of these hills without having problems. Gas mileage, excellent. Uh, 55, 57, one time going through Colorado at night, very, very slowly, watching for deer and elk. I got over 60 miles to the gallon. That's not the norm, but 55, 57 is definitely the norm, normal riding. buttoned up. Alright. Now I told you the center stand is very valuable. And it is. I'm in a soft spot on the side of the hill. Goodness.